A distinctive thing about 2020 was the extent to which everyone went out and bought toilet paper, stripping supermarket shelves bare. The coming year, 2021, will be the year that we use it all and be left with the insides of lots of rolls. Another thing is we've just had Christmas, so you might be inviting people around and be having some tea light -like candles like this to spread some Christmas cheer. There's a few things of note about these tea light -like candles. First of all, they're cheap. 20 for $3.50. Another thing is they are encased in aluminium. When you take the candle out, this is what you get. It's quite thin aluminium, thicker than aluminium foil, but thinner than the aluminium that you have on project boxes and the like. If you want small springy pieces of aluminium for something, then these tea light candles are an interesting source of it. It could be handy for various RF shielding applications. Something else I noticed was how snugly the aluminium from the tea lights could slide into the inners of toilet rolls. And that's the secret behind a lot of improvised construction. Look for things that slide into one another. And so that's how I came to make this toilet roll variable capacitor. There are two strips of aluminium foil, separated by about 3mm. Because you can't solder to it, I've just put in some insulated stranded wire. You can just see it underneath and put it under a winding of foil and used sticky tape to hold it in place. The idea is that when you slide the aluminium candle section into the insides of the roll, the capacitance will vary. Minimum capacitance will be here, maximum capacitance will be here. That's where you've got an equal overlap between the top and bottom sections. The snugly fitting candle holder acts as a plunger. And if you wanted to, you could attach some doweling to make it easier to adjust or even a screw to give some form of vernier or finer tuning action. Another possibility you could experiment with is air pressure. Coupling a tube with air of varying pressure up to one end and possibly also the other and then as you vary the pressure of the air possibly with a bulb, you'll be able to change the position of the plunger and thus varying the capacitance. What capacitance range do you get? As a minimum, I get around 8 picofarad. And as I move it up to a maximum, I get around 17 picofarad. Therefore, around 10 picofarad variation. Possibly suitable for various experiments in the higher HF, lower VHF frequency range. So, that's the challenge for 2021. Make use of the inners of all your toilet rolls you'll be using in some sort of electronic or radio application. If you've got further ideas, please share them in the comments below.